Hello everyone, Wolfie here back with another Hero Basics video where I take a hero from Gigantic and tell you exactly what their abilities do. No upgrades, no talents, level 1, jumping right into the game. This time we have Trip, the Electric Assassin. Trip is a melee damage dealing hero with the tags Assassin, and she really looks the role if you ask me. Uh, kind of all about the hyper mobility, moving in and out of fights super quickly without being detected, finishing kills, doing tons of burst damage, all that jazz. Very high skill ceiling, but also very high, uh, very high energy and very fun character to play in the right hands, of course. But uh, before we go into any of her abilities, let's actually go over her stats. Trip has 1500 health and 15 armor, so she is among the crew of the super squishy low health gang. Uh, but she makes up for it with just the sheer amount of mobility and the ability to go into stealth. Let's start with her LMB, which is called Lightning Strikes. Lightning Fast Melee Attacks is a 7 hit combo in total. The 7th strike hits twice and deals a total of 95 damage. Or sorry, each hit deals 95 damage. She also has an increased uh, jump attack. Uh, you know, with other jump attacks in the game, heroes do more damage with their jump attacks. But Trip specifically has a super powerful jump attack, uh, jump attack that almost does triple the amount of damage. But her abilities look like this. One, two, five, six, seven. And the, the last two are technically considered two hits, even though it says that it's seven hits. It just says the seven hit strikes twice. It really should just say that it, it's eight times and the last two hits do more. But very cool animation. I love the lightning particle effects. And just a lot of a lot of damage over the course of a, a short time. Especially if you hit in the back and you have all the crits up and ready. Just shred people down. Next up is her RMB, which is called Plasma Blades. Throw daggers. On impact, they deal a small amount of damage, 43, pre-mitigation. And they will apply a bleed, which is the 20 damage per second for 5 seconds. Now, this tooltip reads that you throw 3 daggers. Uh, you definitely only throw 2. I don't know why this says that. I, f I feel maybe it, just an it was an accident because 2 or 3 are next to each other on the keyboard. But you definitely only throw 2. But it looks like this. These are uh, skill shot daggers. And they're very, very narrow, but they also are very quick. So, you know, just keep that in mind. For the most part, if you're within this sort of range, you don't really need to aim too well because they're just really fast. But you see, five seconds of bleed and the two initial impact damage. Very, very simple. Kind of good at keeping enemies uh, in combat. Also doing, you know, a little bit of range poke damage. Kind of if you're on the far side of a firefight. Uh... Then they, you'll when I get into the trip deep dive, you'll see that a lot of her abilities on their own don't have too much going on, but it's really on her upgrades that kind of defines her. The, the trip deep dive is something that I am honestly dreading, but I am going to do it. I'm committing to it. Next up is trip Q, which is called electric slide. Uh, pressing your Q, you slide forward and uh, very rapidly move while you're doing so. And over the course of the Q, you can actually hit Q again to do the second part of the ability, which does an upward kick that does a ton of damage, 375 pre-mitigation, and then knocks enemies upwards. Uh, and uh, it does say this interrupts another case of the interrupt, but not actually interrupting. It's only a, a push movement. It's not a launch. It's not hard CC. So keep that in mind. Uh, but it looks like this. Now, if you just use the Q on its own, it throws you forward and that bar fills up. That's just basically the duration of the ability. And it is a it is pretty long of a 13 second cooldown. But the more impactful thing that almost everyone does with this ability is the second Q, which kicks and then pushes them upwards. It's really cool and a lot of high uh, a lot of high damage. It's kind of the initial starting ability for trip. Just kind of the the opener and the combo, if you will. And finally, we have Trip's E, which is called Flash Dance. Use your E, become invisible. After one second, you gain... It's a brief delay, uh, and you become invisible uh, for up to six seconds. And while invisible, you make no noise. You move uh, You move the same speed. So if you're in combat, you know, sprinting will cost you stamina. But uh, you're, you basically move the exact same speed. You're just entirely invisible. And it is a 20-second cooldown. So this is something that you really want to use just for the uh, escape. And there's a, there is a build where, you know, you use the stealth to engage instead of the Q. But that is, again, another another thing for the deep dive. But this is what E looks like. You see, after a short delay, become completely invisible. Your steps and, and motions and jumping, 
nothing makes any sound. So it's pretty cool. It's it's very uh it it really gets you into the mood of of playing an assassin character. Very good at going around undetected and just super fun. One more thing I feel worth mentioning before I get into the focus actually uh that I just remembered. Trip has probably one of the fastest and longing like the like one of the fastest and and largest movements as far as her ground dodges. Like they send her really far and just they're super quick. And she also has this uh this really nice dodge attack where she lunges really far forward. So this also adds to her mobility and should should definitely be utilized once you kind of get a feel for stamina management. That's that's the that's another part of the uh it's another part of the thing for assassins that really kind of defines the good and bad players. But anyway, last uh her uh, focus is called Blade Storm. Dashes forward hitting the first target. It, it's not technically a dash forward. You kind of throw yourself forward like you throw a dagger. On hit, performs six attacks and then a final strike. Stuns enemies for the duration of 0.9 seconds. And on miss, it'll actually return you to the starting position. During the dash, you gain immunity to all damage. You basically become completely invulnerable because you're not able to be targeted. You just kind of basically puff out of existence. Uh, with each focus point gain, the attacks each attacks deal... Uh, 90 damage and then 130 damage and then 170 damage per attack at rank three and then the final strike i don't know why it does less but it definitely does do less but the final strike basically does 37 and a half 75 and then 112 and a half and yes half damage does it half damage is accounted for i don't really know why they can't just specify that it does i don't know 38 and then 113 but it, it, it is uh it is just half damage you can't you can't ever exactly just have half of a hit point remaining, uh, but it, it's it, it just seems like a weird convoluted thing to not just make it a whole number. But anyway, that's what it looks like. So it does it does technically dash you forward, but it, it makes it sound as though it's like it, it makes you sound like it's kind of like Q, but it's not so. But uh, it, it, it is technically a skill shot, very similar to the right mouse button in like speed and size. And yeah, I think that last hit also does a area of effect burst. So it's a, it's a small area of effect hit on that final hit as well. That is the kit of Trip. You see she's very high energy, high impact abilities that all need to be used properly and, and just doing tons of damage in very short bursts and then getting away if you can. As you are very squishy and you don't want to stick around in a fight for too long. But uh, incredibly mobile, as an assassin should be. High damage and a lot of fun to play. So I I think I think she's good to learn kind of the ins and outs of. Even if you don't end up playing assassins, just kind of know what she can and can't do so you can be ready. Because there's probably going to be a lot of trips in solo queue. So be ready for that. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you like and subscribe. And leave comments as well so that I can speak with you guys. And uh, make sure to share as well if you feel so inclined. Have a good day. I will see you guys in the next one.